picking organic quality over tainted bargains. Welcome back to Good News Next Week, everybody. I'm James Evan Pilato for MediaMonarchy.com. That story plus more recess time. But first, another great story submitted to us by our buddy James at CorbettReport.com. Brit Brewer open sources entire recipe archive. Scottish brewer BrewDog has agreeably released its entire recipe back catalog encompassing the 215 beers it's made in its almost decade-long history. From their own press release, they say, quote, we wanted to do something that had never been done before, as well as paying tribute to our home brewing roots. We wanted to take all of our recipes, every single last one, and give them all away for free to the amazing global home brewing community. They even instruct brewers to, quote, copy them, tear them to pieces, bastardize them, adapt them, but most of all, enjoy them. And then they follow that up by saying, oh, and if you're from one of the uh, global mega beer corporations and you're reading this, your computer will spontaneously combust James Bond style any second now. So leave the building immediately and seriously consider your life choices. <laughs> Hats off to the Brew Dogs for open sourcing their entire beer archive is again, DIY is the only way we are really going to win. Our cover story this week comes via David Ewart4 on Twitter and a story we keep seeing more and more as I find a lot of the ways that we're winning seem to have to do with food. People are picking organic quality over tainted bargains. Shoppers in the UK, this comes originally via Sky News, they're spending a pound 73 more per week on organic foods as they opt for chemical-free, ethically produced products rather than the biggest bargain. The money spent on such items increased by 4.9% last year, almost reaching the same level as 2008 before the recession hit and sales slumps. Now, there is a full video report from Sky News included in the show notes, as everything is always included in the show notes. But I wanted to talk about this because it's important for a lot of reasons, if only to reiterate that organic... Click, we're going to interrupt with an edit from the corrections department, because I was about to say something that now that I'm looking back into it isn't true. Organic foods actually are more nutritious, according to a review of 343 studies. Now, I was trying to be maybe perhaps too measured and say, maybe the fight isn't about organic food is more nutritious, but that it just doesn't have a bunch of pesticides all over it. So I should maybe do that extra work and not be so measured. That's another of the million reasons why people are choosing organic. Back to the show. Our third and final story on this quickie Leap Day episode of Good News Next Week for February 29th, 2016 comes from a couple weeks ago, and it comes from the Today Show. And sometimes you got to get your good news where it comes from. Texas Elementary School triples at recess time four times a day. The doors of Eagle Mountain Elementary in Fort Worth, Texas, fling open to let bouncy, bubbly, excited kindergartners and first graders pounce onto the playground. And they go through all the families and the kids and they talk to the teachers and you see that they're actually fitter, happier, more productive. You could maybe scoff, but playing outside is a fundamental thing for all of us. Do you remember that time? Think back of that time. Maybe it wasn't that long ago. Maybe it was a long time ago. Maybe even stop what you're doing right now and walk away from the computer and go outside and run and play. That's what all of this fight is ultimately about, you guys. And that's why it's so scary in some ways to see kind of how angry and on edge everything is. And you've heard me talking about this more and more in my work, kind of looking at the angry troll culture that we've been sort of fed into. And you see it on the television and you see it in your phony presidential races and you see it on your socials. And hopefully Good News Next Week can be some kind of antidote against that. Some of the other Good News Next Week headlines we are watching thanks to people that have submitted stories using hashtag Good News Next Week. French restaurant bans bankers but allows dogs. And a Maryland guy making money on food waste while also feeding the hungry. We've been talking about that time after time on Good News Next Week, as well as our Food World Order episodes. It's called Hungry Harvest in Maryland. Indiana sheriff blocks feds from harassing a raw milk farmer to, you know, stem the tide of federal overreach. And a few with asterisks beside them, or as we call them, not unmitigated good news. 
the Bolivian teenager turning e-waste into robots, making little Wally robots. While yes, that is good, I can't help but seeing maybe been spun in some other propagandistic ways, but repurposing garbage is pretty much always a good idea. Three ex-execs of utility charged in Fukushima disaster, FISA court accused of failing to restrain the NSA, and Brazil-Europe undersea cable to hide web traffic from U.S. snooping, and Dow Chemical can't win without Scalia, and they settle in an $835 million antitrust case. And another story, Johnson & Johnson hit with a $72 million damage agreement in talc powder cancer case. Now, we talked about this on The Morning Monarchy, and we talked about how they had hidden the information. You can look at the videos, and again, we'll include it in the show notes. You can look at the lawyers. You can see all of those things and see voting with your dollar is probably the best idea. If you'll harken back to maybe spending a little bit more on food and things that won't instantly kill you. So we are definitely swimming in strange and angry times, you guys, and hopefully, like I said, good news next week can be some kind of antidote to that, and hopefully you'll keep getting excited about positive ways that we're winning and solutions, and we're sharing all that stuff open source style, and I really appreciate it. So if you support and appreciate our work and find it valuable, I hope you go to MediaMonarchy.com slash support and help us out. So this has been a Good News Next Week Leap Day episode for February 29th, 2016. I'm James Evan Pilato for MediaMonarchy.com reminding you, as always, my friends, don't hate the media, become the media. Take care. Yeah.